everyone, welcome to This Week in Waste. My name is Gage Edwards, and I'm here to run you through the top stories from Waste360.com for this week. Each week, I'm here to briefly go over the top stories as seen on Waste360.com. This week, we have some earning reports and some Super Bowl news, so let's jump into those top stories now. Number five, Interstate Waste Services expands with acquisition of Oak Ridge Waste and Recycling. Interstate Waste Services has announced a significant step in its expansion strategy. The company has entered a definitive agreement to acquire Oak Ridge Waste and Recycling, a respected player in Connecticut's waste management sector. Number four, Super Bowl 58 becomes the first NFL game to use 100% carbon-free energy. Super Bowl 58 became the most watched telecast of all time with 123.4 million viewers. It made for a global stage for a budding, unescapable megastar relationship and was the first football game to be powered by 100% renewable, carbon-free energy. I can't believe my job has me talking about the Super Bowl so soon. The wound is still fresh, everyone. Number three, Waste Connection reports strong Q4 full year 2023 results, along with promising 2024 outlook. Waste Connections announced its fourth quarter and full year results for 2023 this week. Additionally, Waste Connections provided expectations for a promising 2024. Number two, WM reports Q4 and full year earnings for 2023. Jim Fish, CEO of WM, reported that WM's collection and disposal business drove growth for the company, which achieved an adjusted operating EBITDA growth of 15% and record adjusted margin of 29.9%. And our top story of the week, Taming the Lion. Why US and Canadian operators lead the world in containment of lithium ion battery hazards in our waste and recycling streams. Sometimes change is self-driven, but usually there is an outside force that drives us to change. In this case, the hazard, as you can see from the increased fires from 2016 to 2018, was truly driven by an increase in unpreparedness for the lithium ion battery onslaught that punched the industry in 2018. And those were the top stories as seen on Waste360.com. Remember, you can always go read more about each of these stories at Waste360.com in a convenient, fun place with other industry headlines. We're always churning out good stories and fun content, so make sure you go over there and check out what we have. And while you're there, check out WasteExpo.com and register for Waste Expo. It's coming up soon, happening in May. It's going to be in Las Vegas. going to be a lot of fun. You saw all those people have fun at the Super Bowl? Well, I guess not all the people because some people went home pretty sad. I sat at home sad, um, but it'll be a different story in Waste uh, at Waste Expo in Las Vegas. That will be fun, I promise. Until next time, thanks for watching.